Europe is home to a great number of hidden gem destinations that are so far off the beaten path that many people don't even know about them. The continent's beautiful scenery, rich history, and unique culture have left an indelible mark on it. Some of Europe's lesser-known destinations have become famous for their awe-inspiring natural wonders, while others have been popularized by their local cuisine and outdoor activities. In today's video, we will be looking at the former, the most unusual places you should see in this earth. From swimming in hot springs to hiking enormous glaciers, here are seven most unusual places you must visit in Europe. Sit back, relax, and enjoy this episode as you will learn new things about some of the world's most unusually jaw-dropping regions of the Earth. We have included links in the description box below to get further information on our trip to Paris winning coupons. Now let's begin! 7. Giant's Causeway, Northern Ireland Ireland's unique rock formation, the Giant's Causeway, is one of the most unusual places in Europe. The area is made up of a series of more than 40,000 interlocking basalt columns, which were formed by successive volcanic eruptions. The columns are the remains of an ancient volcanic fissure system that erupted between 50 and 60 million years ago. It is very unlikely that you will find another location like this anywhere else in the world. The Giant's Causeway is located in Northern Ireland, about three miles north of Bushmills on the northeast coast of Ireland. The Giant's Causeway can be a day trip destination or a stop on your way to Belfast or Dublin. You could also combine it with some other sites such as visiting Carrickfergus Castle and taking in top-notch golf courses, or bringing one of your children to the world-famous Bushmills Distillery. 6. Popeye Village Malta A quick trip to Malta could bring you to Popeye Village. There is no connection between Popeye and the island, but due to the village's name and its unique appearance, a lot of people assume it was inspired by the cartoon character. The village has a strange design that reflects its past. After all, this place used to be used as a movie set. The residents of the village are actors who used to portray the townsfolk of Popeye in the 1980s. And even though it's not real, it's hard for most people to tell that this is not an authentic town. Back then, Popeye Village was built for filming purposes and has since been expanded over time by different owners. This place is now one of Malta's biggest tourist attractions. It will be your job to look for Popeye Village if you plan on going there, because it's located in a nondescript area with no signpost or any other form of direction. A lot of people believe that this movie set remains one of the most popular in the world because it is unlike anything else they've seen before. It seems like it came straight out of a fairy tale or an animated film, and you can't help but appreciate how intricate everything looks despite being artificial. 5. Holy Trinity Monastery, Kalambaka, Greece If you are looking for a truly memorable and unique experience in Europe, we recommend taking a trip to the Holy Trinity Monastery. It sits on the edge of a cliff overlooking the town of Kalambaka and is home to over 30 priests and 200 nuns who live a life of asceticism. The monks and nuns live very simply. They rise at 4.15 every morning and eat breakfast together in silence. They eat one meal per day at noon, which is their only meal of the day. There are no televisions or radios in their living quarters, so they spend most of their time in prayer. When you visit, you walk down into the valley, where the monastery sits perched on a cliff below. You can walk around the grounds and see some of their daily rituals. Laundry hung out to dry in an ancient stone building that also serves as a kitchen. Monks eating meals together in silence. Nuns washing dishes or sweeping floors. 4. Hum, Croatia Hum on the Istrian Peninsula in Croatia is often referred to as the smallest town in the world, although it certainly doesn't look like one. But with only seven inhabitants, it's a real contender for the title. The town is so tiny that all you see from the main road are its two main buildings, a church and a shop, both of which are open to visitors. And there's no reason not to visit. Its charm is irresistible, especially if you stop by after a day of exploring the nearby Kornadi National Park. It is a magnificent settlement of stone houses, with a population of just over 30 people. To get there you have to make a steep climb up the hill and across a scenic trail. There are many different cultural influences that can be found in this tiny village, including those from the Romans, Venetians, and Austrians. The most impressive thing about this place is its natural beauty. The village is built upon a small rock which overlooks the Adriatic Sea. The view from Hum is truly breathtaking and you will see numerous ships sailing below you. On top of that, there are several hiking trails trails that lead from the town down to hidden beaches where visitors can enjoy long walks next to crystal clear waters 
and explore hidden caves. 3. Kyrie Bolton, Norway If you are looking for one of the most unique experiences you can have on this earth, then you must visit Kyrie Bolton. This is the world's largest natural bridge, and it was created by a huge block of granite that fell from the Kirak Mountain about 10 million years ago. At first glance, the Kyrie Bolton boulder doesn't look any bigger than your regular-sized sofa, and it seems almost impossible to understand how something that's small could hold up such a big part of the mountains on both sides. But this is actually where its magic lies. You see, when that giant granite boulder fell down from the top of the Kirag Mountain, it started rolling down and getting smaller and smaller until it reached its current location. Now we have a giant rock balancing two cliffs on each side, and it has been doing just that for thousands of years. 2. Jaithorn, the Netherlands Jaithorn is a town unlike any other. Within the town, there are no streets, roads, or even cars. Instead of roads, there are canals that connect all of the properties and buildings. The small village in Overeysel is built on more than 180 wooden bridges and has been around since 1200 AD. While it may seem like a city straight out of Peter Pan, Jayathorn's architecture gives it a unique charm that will leave you floating on air. This place is known as the Venice of Holland due to its popularity with tourists who love to go canoeing through the canals. There are over 200 restaurants and cafes for you to choose from. The best place to eat in Jayathorn is said to be the Boathouse Restaurant, which has an amazing view of the canals. If you're lucky enough to visit during the springtime, you'll experience a beautiful pink flower festival, which will allow you to see the beauty of this quaint little village in full bloom. 1. Tinta River, Spain The river was named Rio Tinto, Red River, after the dramatic coloration of the water that makes it look like a giant stream of blood flowing out from the ground due to the high concentration of minerals dissolved in its waters. The river has been used since ancient times, not only for its red waters, but also for its therapeutic qualities. This remarkable phenomenon was discovered by the Romans, who built a number of water treatment plants along its banks 2,000 years ago. Roman engineers took advantage of this natural resource to build one of Europe's first aqueducts and many red brick reservoirs. When you first see the river, you might even think it's artificial, especially if you're used to seeing natural rivers. It's hard to believe that it's real and that such an unnatural looking substance could be flowing in nature. If you ever get a chance to visit Huelva, definitely stop by this beautiful river. Conclusion. Europe is a continent of both sightseeing and culture, and it's hard to go wrong with any of the many weird locations, but sometimes you need a little help to get you started on what to expect.